We all have great opportunities, cleverly disguised as impossible things. What would you do if you didn't know that you couldn't do it? What would you do? And how many things have you given up on or not even attempted because you thought it was impossible? How many opportunities have passed you by? And how many will you let slip by in the future? Over the course of these web shows, I'll be sharing with you stories about people that have achieved fantastic things because nobody told them that they couldn't do it. Have you heard the story of Cliff Young? Albert Ernest Clifford Young. At age 61 in 1983, he entered the Sydney to Melbourne ultramarathon race. 544 miles, 875 kilometers. Not only did he win it, he took two days off the previous record time. He wasn't a trained athlete. He was brought up on his parents' farm and used to round up the sheep and the cattle just by running around. They didn't have four by fours and tractors and machinery. And sometimes he'd be out for two days and nights at a time to protect his feet from the wet in the fields, he would wear his Wellingtons, uh, galoshes as they called them. So he learned to run in his Wellington boots and Cliff didn't read the instruction book that came with the marathon entry forms. He didn't know that you were allowed to sleep for six hours every night. More than that, Cliff didn't know that you can't run for five days and nights with no rest and no sleep. <laughs> Cliff didn't know he couldn't do that. So initially all of the trained athletes raced away but while they slept Cliff caught up with them, overtook them and went on to complete the course in five days, 15 hours and four minutes. At age 61 Cliff became the oldest marathon winner and he took two days off the previous Sydney to Melbourne race record. What an inspiring story. So what would you do? What would you do if you didn't know that you couldn't do it? As with every week, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So put your comments at the foot of this page, at the bottom of the page. And this week, there's a special competition. Answer the question, what would you do if you didn't know you couldn't do it? And I'll be choosing my favourite answer received by 6pm London time on Sunday the 10th of March. And the winner will receive a free session with me, the Possibility Professor, to help you break through something that's been holding you back, bridge the Possibility Gap, get some solutions working for you. So look forward to hearing your comments and seeing that. And I'll be announcing the winner next week. Pop your comments below now. And if you're not already registered, do sign up today, not only to receive priority notification of the show every week, but to receive the information that I share only with my email subscribers. That's it for this week. Look forward to seeing you next week. I'm just off for a run. What would you do if you didn't know you couldn't do it? And remember, share with your friends.